But right <laughs> now, Pat, we need to talk about the tropics. They've been active all month, but things have luckily settled down for now. Yeah, so, so Pat, uh, apparently this has to do with that Saharan dust. Yeah, okay, so we didn't have a lot of dust so far this month, and that's what made things pretty unusual. I mean, it, we're not a stranger to the season starting off on an active foot, right? Of the last 10 years, most of them had featured uh, storms developing before the June 1st start date. This year wasn't one of those years, but we made up for it through June with Brett and Cindy forming in the Atlantic Basin, which right now is totally absent of any activity. And as Ron alluded to, that is thanks to dust and a lot of Saharan dust now finally starting to make its appearance here over the main development region of the Atlantic. Let's talk about where this dust comes from. A little refresher, we do this every year. Got the Sahara Desert in North Africa and just below it, the Sahel, which is a semi-arid portion of Africa, which means that they do get a monsoon season. And when that happens, these thunderstorms develop and as they collapse and fall apart, they develop these outflow boundaries. So all that air comes rushing out of the storms. Well, when that interacts, with dusty sandy soil that gets kicked up into the atmosphere and then carried by trade winds over the Atlantic. Now those trade winds have been absent so far this season. That's not the case now. We finally have them starting to kick in. So that's adding some extra dry air to the atmosphere. So how does Sahara dust impact tropical development? Well, these are the ingredients you need. You need a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and you also need water temperatures above 80 degrees. Those are the two big ones, right? And you also need a lack of wind shear. But in the context of Saharan dust, those are the two things that get affected because as that dust moves in, that gets rid of the moisture and it also lowers the water temperatures because that dust concentration can sometimes be great enough to block out the sunlight, which results in cooler water temperatures. So Tim, we were actually at a, a pretty significant low here in terms of Saharan dust concentration mm. through the beginning of the month, which led to that activity. Things are quiet now in the Atlantic, but now the Pacific's starting to heat up.